Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 223. That is, what is impact analysis? Let me answer. So what is impact analysis? Just see a situation guys, uh, in every project, there will be developers, right? There will be some developers. So what the developers will do, they keep changing the application code while developing the application. They have to do the changes to the application. They have to tweak the code in different ways. Uh, what may be the reasons for changing the code? There may be different reasons for changing the code, like uh, they want to add a new functionality into the software. So for that, they may be tweaking the code, okay? Or they need to update an existing functionality, okay? They want to modify the existing functionality for that. In the background, they have to update the code, okay? They have to modify the code, okay? Sometimes uh, they don't want a particular feature in the application. So at that time also, they want to remove the feature in the application. For that also, they want to touch the code. They want to modify, they have to change the code, okay? That they are using for developing the application. And also, as software testers, when we report some defects, then also the developers have to fix this particular defects. For fixing the defects also, the code of the application has to be changed. No problem in changing the code of the application. But because of this changes in the application code, there is an impact, guys. Impact on what? Impact on other modules of the application, okay? For example, if a developer is changing the code related to login functionality, there may be an impact on the register account functionality. We don't know, okay? Different modules may get affected, okay? Because code is being touched. So other areas of the code also, other module areas of the code also may get affected, okay? That is the impact. So we need to analyze. We need to analyze which modules are getting impacted or affected because of these code changes done by the developer in the application, okay? We have to do some sort of analysis, okay? What are the different modules in the application which are getting impacted because of these code changes? So, and that, that part, that analysis part that we are doing to identify the functionalities areas or modules which are getting affected or impacted because of these code changes done by the developers in the application is known as, in simple terms, known as impact analysis. So you got the idea what is impact analysis all about now, right? So what is the advantage of doing impact analysis and how the impact analysis will help the software testers is something should be our focus, right? As part of this session. So that what is advantage? So generally, uh, this uh, in big companies, guys, where there will be some projects, okay? Very uh, big projects will be there, banking projects or healthcare domain projects, okay? They are like, like very big projects running from long years, long, long, long years, okay? So, and uh, suddenly a small code change happens, you see, the, the other areas of the application may get impacted in such kind of functionalities to do an entire round of regression testing of the complete application, it will take a month or more than a month also, okay? So is it a good idea to blindly go with the complete regression testing of the application every time a small code changes happens in the application? Is that a good idea? No, it's not a good idea in such kind of long running big applications, right? Because of a small change in one area of the application, you don't have to do regression testing that is complete testing of the application from start to end, which generally take months of time for such kind of applications, right? That is not a good idea. So in such kind of projects, which are long running projects and big complex applications, right? This kind of impact analysis meetings will be conducted, okay? To analyze the modules which are getting affected because of the code changes done by the developer in some module of the application, okay? So what is the impact we are going to analyze in such kind of projects only guys, not small projects, okay? In small projects regression will not take that much time, right? So no need to worry about the impact analysis in smaller projects, but in larger projects, because of small change in one of the module of the application, if you are doing regression testing for the entire modules of the application, which generally take a lot of time, that is not a good approach, okay? To overcome this impact analysis need to be done and to do the impact analysis, impact analysis meeting need to be conducted. I'll explain more about the impact analysis meeting at the end, anyhow. 
So hence by doing impact analysis, we can figure out the modules. Okay, what is the advantage here? We can find out. Okay, because of this code change, what is the modules? What are the modules or what is the module which is getting impacted? Okay, that we can figure out by doing impact analysis. We can figure out because of a code change done by the developer in one part of the module or the functionality or area of the application, which other areas or modules of the application code is getting affected or impacted. We are going to we can identify that is advantage. Okay, we can figure out. Okay, and by figuring out the testers, the software testers can plan their regression testing very well. So instead of doing the regression testing on the all the functionalities of the application, which take a lot of time. Okay, after impact analysis, since we identified because of these changes in the module, these one, two, three modules are getting affected. So we focus regression testing only on that one, two, three modules. Okay, as software testers. That's how the impact analysis help the software testers in doing the regression testing only on the modules of the application which are getting impacted. Okay, so that is what is the advantage of doing impact analysis, guys. So to perform the impact analysis, there is a meeting conducted known as impact analysis meeting. Okay, so who will be participating in that meeting? Developers, software testers, and product manager. Okay, these three will be. Attending this meeting. Why developers have to attend this uh, meeting? Because developers are the ones, right, who has changed the code. They know very well, like uh, what code I have changed, what code they have changed, and uh, because of this code changes, which modules of uh, code get affected. Developers can know that. So developers have to compulsory attend this meeting, okay? As they are the only ones who change the code in the application, and they can only tell us what modules are getting impacted and what are not getting impacted due to these code changes. Okay, that's why developers have to attend this impact analysis meeting. Then why testers have to uh, attend this impact analysis meeting? Testers have to understand which modules of the application are getting impacted, where we have to plan our regression testing. Testers have to understand that. That's the reason testers attend this impact analysis meeting. And also there is one more that is product manager also need to attend this impact analysis meeting because product manager is the one who knows the business very well who has a, is a domain expert domain knowledge expert and all and can properly guess okay can properly guess which modules of the application may or are getting affected because of the code changes done by the developer okay because of the domain knowledge levels product manager can also suggest us these modules may also get affected. Developer may say that, okay, these are the three modules that may get affected. Then product manager may add that, okay, not only these three modules, maybe uh, since because of these reasons, okay, because of his domain knowledge and expertise in uh, that business level of understanding of the application, the product manager can also suggest that, okay, apart from these three modules, also focus on these two modules. I'm just guessing that they are also getting affected. So software testers have to take the input from both the developers and product manager about that impact analysis and what are the areas that are getting impacted and plan their regression testing only on the areas which are getting impacted instead of performing regression testing on complete uh, applications functionality which generally takes a lot of time okay by taking the inputs from developers and product manager in this impact analysis meeting testers will plan regression testing on only the areas are mainly focus on areas okay which are getting impacted or mentioned as impacted by developers and product manager in this impact analysis meeting. So hope guys you understood what exactly is impact analysis in this session. So that's all for this session in the next session. I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then see you bye bye.